In this work, we are working on the problem of human-robot collaboration in a shared workspace. More specifically, we focus on early prediction of human reaching motions. As shown in the video on the right, early prediction means that we only observe the beginning portion of the trajectory and predict the remainder part of the trajectory. Our unsupervised online method requires no offline training or manually labeled data. It can build models on the fly and adapts new people and new motion styles. We test our method in two real-time robot experiments. Our framework takes streaming motion data as input. We use the beginning portion of the trajectory and extract arm and palm features. The palm feature leads to the reaching motion classification layer. This is the first layer of our framework. It contains a palm motion library in which each GMM in the library represents one motion class. We find one of the GMMs that is most likely to match the observed palm feature. Each GMM in the palm motion library links to an arm motion library in the reaching motion prediction layer. Each GMM in the arm motion library represents different motion styles. First we find the GMM that the arm feature belongs to, and next we use Gaussian mixture regression to predict the remaining part of the arm trajectory. Our framework is maintained by the proposed unsupervised online learning algorithm. We test the framework using a data set gathered from a collaborative reaching motion experiment, which was designed to produce motions with a large number of conflicts between collaborating subjects. In the experiment, two human subjects execute a predefined sequence of reaching for and placing of colored ping pong balls. When evaluating our algorithm on the data set, we select motions from one of the two human subjects. The following videos show our method's ability to correctly early predict human reaching motions. The blue arm is the true recorded arm trajectory, while the magenta arm is the predicted arm trajectory. The red dot indicates the prediction start point. The two videos compare a proposed method on the right to a supervised GMM on the left. We show multiple predicted trajectories when using different lengths of observations of the true recorded trajectory. As the early recognition is not correct, the prediction is not correct for the supervised GMM. However, our proposed method has better early recognition performance, which leads to a better prediction performance. The figure compares our proposed method to different baseline methods. It shows the average dynamic time warping distance between the predicted trajectories and the true recorded trajectories using different lengths of observations of the true recorded trajectory. The lower the better in this figure. The red curve shows our proposed method outperforms other baseline methods. We now present results from an initial experiment in which a human subject executes trajectories at a natural speed in a shared workspace with a robot. In this experiment, the human subject stands on the opposite side of the table as the robot. The human task is to reach toward either the yellow or black core region. When the robot predicts that the human subject is reaching towards the black goal region, it will execute a pre-recorded trajectory towards the orange goal region to avoid collision with the subject. Likewise, if the human is predicted to be reaching towards the yellow goal region, the robot will reach towards the blue goal region. This video shows that when the robot's initial prediction of the subject's reaching motion is correct, the robot directly goes towards the correct goal region. Even if the initial prediction is not correct, the robot can further observe more of the subject's trajectory to obtain a correct prediction and replan its trajectory. In this case, the robot pr correctly predicts the subject's motion in 0.2 seconds. We now present results from a second human-robot collaboration experiment. In this experiment, we introduce a larger number of goal regions as well as a more complicated task for the robot to execute. We slow the human's task execution down by introducing a constraint on the human's task execution in order to be comparable to robot task execution speeds. Thus, the subject's task is to move a cylinder with a ping pong ball balanced on top of it to one of the six indicated goal regions. If the robot predicts that the human is reaching to one of the four indicated goal regions, it will execute a trajectory directly above the predicted goal region with the arm that's nearest to the camera. Moving to a location above the predicted goal region simulates the robot inspecting or grasping the object in the subject's hand. If the robot predicts the human is reaching towards one of the three indicated goal regions, it will additionally assist the human by wiping the table with the arm holding a cloth. However, if the robot predicts the human is reaching towards these three indicated goal regions, it will not execute a wiping motion, as this motion will conflict with the human collaborator. The design of this experiment is intended to replicate a collaborative human-robot assembly task. Moving the robot's arm directly above the predicted human goal region simulates inspecting or grasping the placed object, 
while wiping the table simulates cleaning up the human subject's workspace. This video shows a trial of the experiment in which the initial prediction of the robot is correct, so the nearest arm reaches directly above the predicted goal region. Additionally, the robot is able to wipe the table for the human. In this trial, the robot's initial prediction is incorrect, so the near arm begins moving to the incorrect goal region and the cloth arm begins to wipe the table. As more data is observed, the robot refines its prediction and executes a trajectory to the correct goal region, while the wiping arm just returns to its initial configuration to avoid a workspace conflict. In this case, replanning happened after observing the human trajectory for 0.2 seconds.